Hey gang, Dave Littlejohn here after what has been a pretty rough day in the markets. As you can see, S&P down uh, almost 60 points, Dow over 600 points, NASDAQ down almost 150 points. So it was ugly. I've had some people that have been giving me phone calls and I wanted to head this off at the pass and say, so what do we do when the markets correct like this? First off, I want you to recognize something. There was really nowhere to go. There's like no safe port in this storm. If this is the S&P 500, what you can see is almost everything's red, right? Unless you were invested in Amazon or a handful of other stocks, there's a good chance that your portfolio was declining today. So pile of no fun. Does this mean it is the end of the world and as investors we should head for the hills? Not necessarily, but we should pay attention. I want to point out a couple of things that we look for in periods like this. When the data is still decent, and the only thing that really has changed is the markets are now evaluating interest rates, but we have to look at behavior as well. So normally when we look for market trends, we track things like the low points, and what we're looking for is are we seeing an, a series of what we call higher lows, right? So things are still trending higher. Uh, and in this case, higher highs. Notice that when the markets peak and valley, we get higher lows, higher highs. You get a trending positive channel here. But what happens if instead of having a higher low, we actually saw the price dip even further down and it falls below this previous point? Well, that right there is a problem zone. And that is sort of what we are looking at right now. We need to pay a little bit of closer attention. Let me show you what I mean. This is a look at the S&P 500 as a line chart. And what you can see is up and down, up and down, up and down. Looks pretty smooth, right? Not so fast. If you notice, this is a different look at the same chart, only now you can see the daily movement. Each of these lines represents one day's worth of price range. And you can see that there's a less smooth event. It's up and down even during the day. And this is the interesting part. Notice we get up nice and high here back in the end of January. And since we have slid down very, very aggressively. The question is, how much farther can we go? Well, I don't know the answer, but I can point out some critical levels. First, understand that the markets were ascending throughout most of this year until the end of January. It's been February and the, the last week of January where we've seen this very aggressive slide. And here on Groundhog's Day, you've seen that we've actually broken below the prior trend channel. That's kind of a bad sign. So where does the market go from here if it doesn't find support? The first place that we look is the 50-day moving average. That's this green line right here that's sitting close to 27.15 or so. If it doesn't stop there, then we look even further to the 100-day moving average down here at 26.33 or so. If it doesn't stop there, this is the line in the sand that most investors are now watching. This would be a 10% pullback or what we would typically call a correction. That means that from the high point right here all the way down to this purple line, would be a 10% pullback from the highest value that we've seen in the S&P 500. If that were to occur, many people would then look at this and reevaluate pricing because again, that's what's known as a correction. Days like this can be testing for investors, but it's important to keep a couple of things in mind. First of all, investing is not a day-to-day -day game. No farmer would go and plant their fields and then expect to harvest the very next day. It's got to take a little bit of time. So we need to be patient. The next thing we need to be is aware of the circumstances around us. What motivated the market today? Well, a great jobs report came out and the Federal Reserve earlier this week said they may have to raise interest rates. So better job report validates that the Federal Reserve is probably right. They are in fact going to have to raise interest rates in order to prevent the economy from heating up too quickly. So the markets have responded by raising the interest rates on the fixed income instruments. Of course, this changes prices because everything is priced compared to everything else. And the market got into kind of a spin, if it will. So where does it go from here? Well, none of us knows for sure, but what we do know is this. 
Every bull market has ended at some point. And remember, a bull market is a, a positively trending market. It becomes, or a, a bull market ends when a bear market starts. And a bear market is defined by a pullback of 20% or more. In between, you can have corrections. Those are 10% pullbacks. And a correction is fairly normal and oftentimes healthy for this market. Keep in mind that the data, the underlying economics underneath this economy is still pretty strong. Jobs numbers are good. Wages are going up slowly, but steadily. So we're starting to see signs of inflation, which is something this economy actually needs. You do not want to get into a period where you have deflation. There's a whole lot of economic challenges that come with that. So controlled inflation is the design and that's what we're seeing. But we want to keep inflation from running away. So the Federal Reserve is intervening. So that's really what's going on is the markets evaluating pricing. I have people asking me if this is the next 2008. I don't think it is, all right? So let's keep that in mind. I don't think the data is anything like it was in 2008. I don't think we have nearly as much toxic leverage in the banking system as we did years ago. So you could probably put that one to the side for now. But is the market a little ahead of itself and maybe looking for a pullback? Entirely possible. If this is shaking, your confidence as an investor, it may be appropriate to evaluate your risk tolerance. If that's changed, then by all means, appropriately adapt your strategy. But if your risk tolerance isn't changed, then this is just what happens some days in the market. So we pay attention, but we move forward. If you've got questions, if you're concerned, I would encourage you to contact our office. Our number is 541 375 0898. If you have friends that are going through the same thing, I can walk you through why I don't think this is a disaster yet. If anything, I think this market was just really overheated and so it's cooling back off. That's not a sign that the economy is collapsing. That's just a sign that the market's got a little ahead of themselves. So as always, if there's anything else we can do, don't hesitate to reach out. Please subscribe to the videos. Uh, and don't hesitate to contact the office. Like I said, 541-375-0898 or visit the website at info at littlejohnfs.com. Uh, until next time, uh, keep your head high and remember investing is a long-term game, so one day does not a market make. Take care, everybody. Oh, <laughs>